Hey y'all, Iron here, and today we are playing Gold Rush the game. We have moved on to our new parcel, and we are going to get moving. So we need to have a little quick discussion. I was recording the setup of this wash plant, and as I was doing that, I forgot to hit the record button. So I lost an hour and a half of my time uh, trying to record something that wasn't even recording at all. So what we're going to do instead is actually we're going to do a walkthrough of the wash plant and work on getting the water set up and getting the electrical set up instead and maybe and try to get a run through of dirt to see what's coming through. So let's go ahead and take a tour really quick of everything we got set up uh, from the lost footage now and then we'll move forward with getting everything else up and running. So what we did was um, a lot of drilling uh, to make a lot of money, we had over a million, $1.2 million um, after we finished drilling and converting all our nuggets over. So we ended up buying a lot of things and renting new stuff. So here's our conveyor system as usual. I actually ended up buying these. It was easier to buy them and just own them instead of renting them. The new guy here is a D-Rocker. So what happens is when the pay dirt comes in here, any of the bigger stuff kind of rocks back and forth and gently makes its way off of the sluice over here. Um, and then all the smaller stuff actually uh, goes through here and, as typical, runs through the sluice box and gets caught up in here. Uh, another new addition here is this old Arnold Traumer, I think it's a Trommel, I think it's called. I forget the exact name. But it's just an upgraded Trommel. Um, better capture rate on gold. Don't lose as much. And then from there, it flows into the typical sluice boxes down here. And then we got these planters. Once again, these planters uh, will take in the material, uh, shake it all through, and dump any of the good stuff into the buckets. Any of the remaining water that's coming through will then once again go through these hog pans down here. So that's kind of it for the setup. Uh, it was not a super long process, but it wasn't fun either. There was definitely some issues there. Um, and then we decided to put a, uh, generator right here and I put the fuel tank right next to it. So those could go hand in hand and have to worry about running gas all around and stuff like that. So, and then also let's talk about this. We actually bought the water tower for this land. So as we were setting up our wash plant, our water ran out and in the summer you can have dry spells with no water in it. So I immediately bought this and we're going to work on setting it up. Now I've never worked with this thing before, so it'll be a new experience for all of us. But what I kind of get from here is that uh, we need to pump water into it in order to have stored water. That way if water does dry up, um, we can just pull from the reserves over here. And then when the water starts coming back, um, it'll start filling itself back up. So we're going to be learning how to use that today. Uh, that'll be a fun experience. And that's kind of it. So we own everything except for the rocker, the trommel, and the planters down here. I ended up buying the excavator and the dump truck. Um, so I'm only paying rent on three things, although that rent is not cheap. It's about $22,000 per day. Um, I ended up buying the quad as well to kind of help me move things around as needed. And some little miscellaneous stuff here uh, to help out with the move from the old place to the new place. So what we need to start working on is figuring out how we're going to get everything routed power-wise and get routed water-wise. So I believe the, the easiest thing will be the first is to set up the power here. So hopefully we can get some cables into these boxes here. But they can be very finicky. <laughs> and that's okay. So let's get these over here. So we're going to need to get the conveyor system started. And what we'll do is we'll kind of work piece by piece here, making sure everything's plugged in proper. So I believe the plug for this is right here. Yep. Oh, there we go. And we'll just put this in here, closest one. And then I need another cable for over here. Perfect. And then we'll also we need a cable for the D rocker and the trommel. And then, yeah, I got to have cables as well for the planters. Okay, so just like the old setup when it comes to power cables so far, nothing too crazy, thankfully. 
So let's grab this and let's see here. Grab you. Hopefully those will stick in there. And then I need a one and a two when it comes to small cables. So, yep, everything's sticking, thankfully. So, let's see here. We'll just drop this off right here. And we'll get the D rocker set up. And then, this will be the interesting one. Just trying to get all this hooked up. All right, uh, so let's see. Run you there. And then, honestly, I think the best thing to do is kind of just drag it around. <laughs> I don't know of any other way to handle this situation. Oh, I'm not happy with that, though. Can we just maybe, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think that's going to be it for that. Just making sure. Yeah, I'm not happy about how these cables look here, but I can try to force it. There's nothing I can do there. All right, so we need to get these little guys plugged in here. So let's see here, we'll get this back one first. I wish there was a way to kind of do cord management or something like that. Be a little bit easier to take care of everything. Oh, whoops, I forgot my cable. And this one will get plugged in. And that should be it for power of the wash plant, at least. We will discuss uh, the cleanup area next uh, after we finish all this. So power is set up. So just thinking off the top of my head here, what's next for us? We need to get water set up. So I think one water there. And... I think we'll just need to get water set up down there. I could be mistaken. Let's double check the book. Uh, no, that's it. We just need water on the D rocker and on the pans here. Nowhere else. Okay. So that's a pretty easy setup. Um, but we have to get it from the tower all the way over here. And that's gonna require a few things. So it looks like when you're pumping out, it's gonna be a big hose. And we need to step that down to probably a medium hose and then small hoses. So let's go ahead and plug in here. And we'll set up a split right here, but I gotta go find the part. Should be in my shed, but who knows? It was a wild move. All right, yep. Yeah. All right, so we'll get these hooked up. Don't run away. All right, so I need a large hose. I need two large hoses, two small hoses, and a converter. And the converter is going to be for converting the uh, medium hose into two small hoses. Uh, do I have my uh, my boxes all the way over there? I'll set this over here and then grab it. So let's see here. Set that right there. Wait, where is my box at? Oh, there you are. All right, what do I need here? I need two large or two fats. That's a huge. Okay, so I need two fats. And then I'll need two uh, thins. All right, hopefully that sticks. Yep. Mm, nope. <laughs> the game is going to fight me hand in hand on this one. Um... Gosh, you think these big ones would, you know, work better with you, but it always seems to have issues with the hoses and the um, the cords for some reason. All right, we'll throw that down there and run back here. All 
All right. So let's just run up here. And in the interest of uh, this, get that here. All right, perfect. So that's ready to go. And then, oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> okay. You do you. I'm not here to judge. Um, all right, there we go. Get that hooked up. And we need the small guys to get all these hooked up. Oops, there we go. All right, so that should supply the water and stuff to the wash plant. Now the big thing here is going to be getting the pump set up to pull water and put it in there. And ideally we put it in a decent place so it's not in our way whenever we're trying to drive around. Is there something on the ground there? No. Just garbage. All right. Uh, so let's go grab the pump. And maybe we'll set it up over by the uh, the gas uh, tank over there. That seems like it might be a decent in-between. Just a little bit more. I hope this isn't mad because it's in the ground. Oops. You can see I got new. Oh my gosh, here we go. We're going to have this fight today, huh? See, I got new decals on my truck. Sorry to everybody else, but uh, rocking the American flag. All right, come on. There we go. Oh, no, I forgot to put the... <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, now we're going to hit it. It's going to be mad at us again. The one thing this game does good is making it finicky when you're on uneven terrain. Okay. Nope. I slid. All right. Hopefully that's enough. And we are good to go. Thank goodness. All right. This is a hydration reminder. If you're not drinking your water, please get to working on that. So... We're going to pull from the creek over there. So let's just set this here for now. Like, that should do. Oh, see, I just got a notification. The water dried up again. So if we go over here, you should notice that there's no water. You can already hear it. It's not running. Oh, it's, it's barely running. But yeah, I can't really pull from this very well. Oh, you get it well, water? <laughs> I got the jokes today. So, what do we need to do? We need to pull from there and get it pumped into there. So, I do have... Oh, uh, let's just move you for now. So, I need an in and an out. Oop, stuck. So, we need to do in, out. Um, and I need to... See if the hoses are long enough for this. Yeah, the main one's going to be seeing if the hose is long enough from the pump to the river. Besides that, it should be pretty easy. Um, probably going to need, uh, so we'll need another fat hose. So let's test it by running to the river first with this. So where's the end? And then we'll sneak through here. And hopefully, I could sneak it. You're joking. Oh. It's just like, oh, there's a cable right here. It's just like a hair. Um, I wonder if I could just bump it a little bit. The last thing I really want to do is spend money on a extension if I can just kind of bump it. Let's take a peek. Oh, there's not even that much room left. I don't know if that's a simple bump fix. We might have to buy an extension. 
All right. Uh, so just for the sake of sanity, we will buy an extension. Um, what else do we need? We need the test. Oh, we need a fat to, or we need a huge to run from there. So two huges and a fat and a huge extender. Sounds like my McDonald's order. All right. Uh, store. Let's see. That's parts, accessories. All right. Uh, we need two of these. And then we need one of these. Yeah, that should be it. And then we'll turn the flashlight off. We don't need it anymore. So let's see here. I really want the extension out of the way. Don't want to be tripping over it and stuff like that while I'm trying to work. So we'll just set it like right here. It's a shame. A couple extra hundred dollars, but it's worth it. I'm not trying to have to hassle with a bunch of stuff. All right, let's get that cable wrapped up a little bit. Objects must be on a flat. It is on a flat surface. <laughs> you gonna fight me about that? That little hill? Jeez. <laughs> That's one battle today already, huh? Uh, Glacier Creek Spring available with a 27% discount. Okay. All right, and then we'll just toss this. Oh, look at the water. It's, it's disappearing. I didn't even realize it goes down over time. I thought it was just as soon as the message came up, it went down. All right. So that's all set up. Uh, so we need to feed one into the water tower now to fix, get that all set up. Yeah, so I, like I said, I've never messed with these water towers before, so I'm just kind of learning as I go. Oh, I have to do a big test run to make sure everything's working without issue. All right, so the out on this will then feed over to the in on this, and hopefully it accepts huge hoses. Yeah, it does. I'm going to grab this and pull it just a little extra. That's better. Um, so that fixes that issue. Now the next issue is getting water over to, uh, my wash area. So I opted to move my wash area into the building over there, uh, just to level it out. So I'm not fighting hills and stuff while I'm trying to move buckets around. doesn't bother me cause I'll just, what I'll do is load everything into the truck and load and bring it over here. But I will need to bring some hoses, um, and then I'm probably going to have to run extenders all the way over there. So, let's see here. Uh, so we'll need three smalls for that. Uh, I'll leave the uh, fat hose for now because... Uh, oh, I need to run power out here too. I didn't even think about that. Okay, well let's address the water first and we'll address the power. Alright. Um, yeah, so I think, I think I'm going to have to run in... Sorry about that. So I'm going to have to run an extender out here for both water and electricity. And the reason I did this is I just wanted to have a nice little area to do the clean outs uh, of all the dirt uh, from the wash plant. Um, and this... This seems like it was the uh, a decent compromise. <laughs> I wish there was um, not like a million building structures, but I wish I could like say like, hey, I want to build like an area to work on that's very level for all this right here. Um, that way it just feels a little more natural than sitting outside doing everything like in the rain or on bumpy terrain. Oops. And then, let's see here, we need to hook up the water to this bad boy. So yeah, not... Oops. Come on. There we go. 
not ideal overall, uh, having to run everything out here, but at the same time, I, I'm just going to deal with it. And if I have to move, I have to move later on. That's not a problem. All right, so that addresses the hookup here for the water. So we are going to have to get some extenders and stuff like that. So I'm thinking probably only, I'm hoping only one extender. Kind of rubbing my chin here thinking about it. We'll start with one extender and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, so what we need is a hose and an extender for this part. Fat hose connector. And then another fat hose. Um, so let's see, where are we going to want to run this? I guess we could just kind of run it here along this side. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. So let's see, we'll just get it hooked up here. Hopefully I can run all these on the same thing. That's what I'm hoping at least. So we'll just get this over here. There we go. We'll bring you over here. And then there we go. So we'll run this out to the shed. And hopefully that's all I need to do for water. Perfect. All right. The electricity now. I have to get electricity ran out there. So. I'm going to need to convert a big to small. Now, I've never had to do that, so this will be my first time working with this equipment. There should be a splitter box that we can use. Um, Alright, let's find it. So... Alright, uh, we have these... So I need one of, oh, do I need an extension? Yeah, I'm probably gonna need extension. So one from the uh, trailer into a high voltage connector, and then one from there that hopefully can make it to the power splitter. And we should be good. So order those, and then we'll gather those up and start running them around. Now, we'll just run the electricity alongside the hoses as well. So, let's see. Kind of a chaotic beauty to this. All right. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to run it alongside this one down here. Now, I think the power cables run just a little shorter. Yeah. So, let's grab this. And we'll set this right here. All right, perfect. Oh, boy, I hope this makes it then. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, that'll make it, I think. Oh, no, it might not. Oh, you know, worst comes to worst. Oh, no, we made it. Okay. Let's say worst comes to worst, we have the bo the split box. All right. So then we grab this. And we'll just set it right next to this one. All right. Perfect. Now, I don't have to turn these on, right? Yeah, these will just turn them. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, these will turn themselves on automatically. All right, perfect. So we'll just go grab the three power cables needed and we'll be finished with this setup. One hanging off the edge there. All right. 
Oh, great. Then uh, we can start testing everything and see how it goes. Hopefully we have no issues, but... You know, that's, that's how life goes, you know. You think you can do everything perfectly the first time, then you learn. You see all the mistakes. Alright, uh... Oh, jeez. Jump. There we go. And then, last but not least, the wave table. Let's see here. Try to jump around. Wonderful. Alright, uh, we'll just... No, we'll just leave those off for now. Alright, so we need to do a test run, make sure everything's running without issue. Uh, we'll just store this box here for now. Oh, you know what? I might need that for buckets. So we'll kind of just go toss it over here. Alright, uh, so the big thing will be is getting power up and running. Oh, didn't mean got stuck on the ladder there. Alright. Why isn't it recognizing... Oh wait, it is. Power splitter, yeah. Alright, so let's check everything. That's running, that's running. D rockers running, Trommel's running, great. All right, uh, power's working here at least, we know that. So how do I get the water started? So I just come over here and tell it to turn on? Oh, water's flowing again. So we'll actually flip this on. Uh, oh, it's been, it's like been a couple days since I actually had to get everything up and running. And then we'll turn this on. And it says it's pushing out 63 gallons per minute. So let's see here. The D rocker has water going through it. Great. And then... Oh yeah, all the water's coming through here. Looking really good. Into the planters and then my hog pans are running. Uh, so uh, then we have to go check up here and see how everything is going. So we'll just follow the hoses as a walkway. All right, what's it look like over here? Working, working, and working. Great. Now let's go check the water supply of the water tower. Because what should be happening is we should be pulling water from over here. And it should be flowing into the water tower and replacing what we use. So let's double check. Yep, it's underwater. The water looks to be running quickly or glitchy. I don't know the difference between the two. It might be just tripping balls in the Alaskan wilderness. I don't know. So that's going through here. And 53 gallons per minute. And this thing's outputting 79 gallons per minute, so we're actually losing water as we go. So if I turn that off, though, it should fill it up. Okay. Uh, I can't, the background makes this so hard to see when it's daytime. So this can hold up to 1 million, one million gallons of water. Okay. Should I... I'm wondering if we should split off the wave table and stuff. Oh wait, no, that won't use water as long as I shut it off manually. As long as I shut this off manually, it won't run. Which will help save water, because... Jeez, am I going to have to run a couple of these at once? <laughs> Ideally, I don't have to, but... Um, 79 gallons per minute. So I'm still losing water when I'm running. Interesting. 
And this thing says it's maxed out when it's running. Yeah, 53 gallons per minute. Okay. Well, I think if we just let it run and kind of fill up, we'll still be ahead of the game. It just means that generator is going to be running 24 seven. Okay. The water's still going up good. I mean, it's a million gallons by the time it's all said and done. Um, all right. So that's looking good. I'm really happy with that. So actually what we'll do here is actually, we'll just wrap it up for now. Um, and we'll come back with a first, uh, first dirt first clean out and see everything that we're doing so let me just say thank you so much for watching i wish i had a little bit more for you but like i said i forgot to record i forgot to hit the record button so unfortunately that's a lot of lost footage and stuff that was going on but i do appreciate you coming here and watching the videos anyway uh please if you enjoy this content like comment subscribe it always helps grow the channel help get the videos out there and keep these episodes rolling and once again thank you so much for watching please have a great day and i'll catch you later bye